All right, everyone, welcome back to the channel where today we will be going over some recent pickups. We haven't done one of these videos in quite some time. So today I decided, hey, let's get some of that stuff out of the boxes and onto the screen. And so if this is something that you like, we try and do this at least once a month. Please click that like and subscribe and uh, let's get started. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna go over is uh, Sonic Origins Plus. Now, I did a short on this, but that's it. Pick this up. Uh, this came out, I wanna say like a week or so ago. Uh, and here we are at the end of June. So I think it was June 21st or something like that. This came out. And what I liked about this was that it does come in a bigger box. Most uh, Switch games obviously come in this uh, normal Switch case here. And anytime they kind of give a bigger box, I think I've talked about this in the past, I try and pick that stuff up. And so this one was really cool because I really like the... Uh, looks like the old Genesis uh, look on the case there. And it did come with a uh, art book as well, which I thought was really, really cool. Just going in and seeing some of the um, different looks of Sonic from you know 1991 all the way up to 2000 uh, or 2022 here. And then some of the look of uh, some of the old game cases and things like that. I thought that was really cool. And then the case itself is really nice. Uh, it also has a reversible sleeve so I'm probably gonna turn mine around because I like the way it looks um, the other way it looks more like the Genesis uh, games of the past and actually says Genesis on it so it's just it's something cool to have I think this ran like $39.99 I'm sure it'll go on sale eventually or probably not even that far from now because that's kind of what Sega normally does um, but it's a cool cool little thing to have and i uh i picked this up it, it landed a couple days late because i ordered from target it didn't get here on uh uh release day or launch day but i thought it was really cool and again cool uh reversible sleeve there and the art book and uh the games are really cool too because it does have uh it says 16 classic sonic games and new playable characters so it looks like uh it's a good time. Haven't really played it yet. Like I said, got it a couple days ago. Um, but that's the first thing we're going to go over here today in today's pickup video. All right. Now, something I've always been into, but getting more into it now that my kid is uh, almost five years old and he's really starting to like it, plus the new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie is coming out, is Ninja Turtles. So with the new movie coming out, they had some cool stuff out at Target. Uh, and I actually picked this one up in store. Uh, this is the Pizza Fire Van, and you can launch pizzas, and the characters can uh, can ride along in this. I think this ran like 30 bucks or something like that. Super cool. Haven't opened this up yet. Let me see if we can open this now and take a look at it. Uh, this isn't one of those things I'm going to keep in the box. It's one of the things I'm going to open and let the kid play with and, uh, you know, just take good care of it. But when I saw that they had this van, I had to get it. Now, um, it was, oh, I think it was the last one available at Target when I went and picked it up. Uh, but I did see that they did have some shipping options available. So if this is something you're interested in, um, I know I saw, I think Entertainment Earth or something like that was also uh, selling this. Not sure if Walmart or Amazon had it, but um, Target had it in stock. And let's take a peek here at what this looks like. Yeah, so this thing is pretty large. Uh, the wheels aren't on it yet. It looks like the wheels are inside. You could put the wheels on. Um, some of the pizzas that you can shoot here. The roof rack. And then there's a bunch of stickers uh, that you can put on the, uh, or you're supposed to put on the van itself. So I'll get some uh, footage of that so you can see it. But it looks looks pretty legit it's much bigger than i thought it would be but i guess it has to kind of be large if you're going to put the characters in it um and so i'm happy that it's the size that it is but it, it is just a little bit uh bigger than than i thought it would be here well, let's set that to the side for now i'll put that together a little bit later and speaking of turtles characters right I picked up this set now this was the one I found before I found the van this is the only van thing I can find this uh, I guess packaging and it comes with six characters so it comes with Donatello Raphael April uh, Michelangelo Leonardo and Bebop 
And Bebop is one of my favorite characters, my son's favorite characters. Uh, and this is from the new movie. So interested to see kind of their, I was interested to see kind of their uh, design. And uh, just because the movie looks a little different than some of the Turtles things we've seen in the past. Uh, but so far, I'm pretty happy with it. I like it. Uh, the movie comes out, I believe, August 2nd. So again, we did a short. So for more detail on this one, you can see. Uh, check out the short on the channel. Uh, but tr starting to try and stockpile some TMNT stuff because, like I said, big fan. And now that the kid is, uh, you know, of age and he's enjoying it too, it just makes me like it even more. So now the rest of this stuff is in boxes. I I don't know exactly what's in what box. I think I slightly remember what I ordered, but again, this is over about a month's time, so I'm not quite sure exactly everything that's in the box. So I'm just gonna grab them, open them, and and do it with you guys. Uh, I did cut the seals already, uh, just so I wouldn't be wasting time here on camera. Uh, okay, this first one I got from GameStop. They had a sale, um, and I didn't have this character for my Halo collection, so I had to get it. And it's uh, the Arbiter here, and this <laughs> this is much bigger than I thought it would be too, so... Uh, the Spartan Collection Arbiter. I think this is on clearance at GameStop. I think it was like 18 bucks or something like that. And, uh, you know, outside of Master Chief, the Arbiter is probably one of the, you know, fan favorites, at least uh, for me and my family. And this one comes with a storm rifle, uh, energy sword, and additional hands. So this will look great uh, with all the other Halo stuff I have back here. And like I said, much bigger than I thought it would be, but it's really, really cool. So happy to have that and add that to the collection, especially for 18 bucks or something like that. You can't really, uh, really beat it. Uh, okay, this is an Amazon one. So this one came today. And let's open this up. Like I just mentioned, Ninja Turtles getting back into that. And uh, let's see what's in this one. I'm trying to remember. Uh, this one is the, it says classic mutant figure four pack so let's open the box here all right so let's take out the first one and the first character is krang uh these are going to be all the villains uh, i have some other stuff coming that i'll show you guys uh, here when it arrives uh, but for now i picked up all the villains and it's all playmate stuff uh, again here's a bebop Old school Bebop looks really sick. These are these are cool, um, and we have a couple turtles from Playmates that we play with, but we don't have the bad guys. So we needed the bad guys. Uh, here's a Shredder uh, to kind of make our game a little bit more fun, rather than the turtles fighting, you know, some of our Mario characters or Batman or something like that. We actually have the uh, the legit bad guys, and here's a Rocksteady. So again, I'll be opening all these. I'm not all that concerned with the the cardboard. Um, I think these I got on Amazon for like 35 bucks for all four characters uh, and you know cool to have the bad guys now along with uh, obviously our turtles we don't have a, a splinter or a April O'Neil uh, but we're looking to get those but we'll uh, we'll do a little bit more in depth on these once I open them all up and uh, and start playing with uh, with the boy all right so up next is this box here this one was from GameStop uh, and so I'm pretty sure I remember all the stuff I got from GameStop, but let's see what's in this one. Okay, this one I'm not super happy with because they did put a nasty sticker on the box here. And this one will be one of the ones I try and keep sealed. But they put a clearance sticker on it. Let me try and get that off without damaging the box here. Now the box itself is a little dented in some areas. Again, it's GameStop, so you luck of the draw there. Um, but hopefully it's not one of those clearances that's been opened and messed with because somebody wanted to look at it. Yeah, the seal's, the seal's broken and everything. So, you know, I thought it was one thing when it's games that you get from GameStop that are open already, but um, nonetheless, here is the Master Chief. So this is... Um, pretty expensive master chief to be honest with you at least this box isn't uh isn't the seal isn't broken um but this is the one twelfth scale master chief uh mjolnir mark uh six gen three so 
they did put another sticker on the bottom of this one i'm not quite sure why they do that stuff but um like i said it's one thing to get games from them that say new when they're open but when you buy a a collector's figure i get it it's on clearance but why is it i don't know not in not in really good condition but nonetheless it was on sale it was pretty pretty affordable compared to what it normally goes for and uh yeah it's pretty cool this one i might i might actually open since they've already kind of messed with it but either way it's a really cool uh master chief statue to have okay so i think we're on to the last box here and this one i ended up picking up a do i again like here's a collectible and the box is all beat up and janky and it's like and there's no one to complain to because when you complain they don't do anything about it but either way another master chief i guess i have to open this one um do i have this one I'm not sure if i have this one or not but another master chief that we picked up here uh and the other thing we picked up this is mainly for my kid uh which is some mario glassware or drink drinkware set and these are the uh the bad guys so uh looks like they're 16 ounce glasses looks like come with some coasters as well let's open this bad boy up and take a look at what these uh look like here okay so the coasters are on top and these are like really cool these might be cooler than the glassware themselves uh really really cool we'll do uh a little bit closer up on those when we get a chance let's take a look at the glasses here okay a little, little dusty a little dirty but uh you know they've probably been sitting in a warehouse for for a while so you got bullet bill goomba um you got the koopa and piranha plant so really these are actually cool i think these were like six or seven bucks they were pretty pretty cheap uh and you know uh the kid being four maybe glass isn't the best option but mario is always cool uh to have so and again these um coasters are, are really neat as well so uh the last thing i wanted to show you guys and we're doing a video on this now uh but it's been taking some time to actually build this uh i got it for father's day from the wife and uh the wife and son and it's 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 a big undertaking to put together to say the least we've been working on it for quite some time now um and you'll see in the video we're going to do a video but i'll uh, i'll try and speed it up a little bit so you're not sitting there for uh hours on end uh but it's taken some time to put together and uh it is the question block for super mario 64 lego set so uh this is awesome uh we just finished putting it together we're working on editing the video now but it's like 2200 pieces or something like that 2000 pieces and it took a lot of time to do uh, especially I think we did it in three sittings because one sitting was going to be too much for us. Uh, but we're putting a video out on that over the next couple of days as well. So stay tuned for that. Um, but what's your favorite thing? What's the favorite thing that uh, I picked up here today that uh, maybe you would pick up or you're interested in? Um, let us know in the comments below. Appreciate you all taking the time uh, to watch the video and uh, stick around this long if you have. And it does mean the world to us. So until next time, peace.